Good evening everybody, we are back with a brand new video and today we are going to be doing our final room in our 100 room challenge. This has been absolutely crazy, it has taken me so long to do this and of course this series wouldn't have happened without my first 100 subscribers so thank you all so much for subscribing and enjoying my content. I cannot believe that we are literally doing our final room now, it is crazy. But let's crack on, I have something good planned for this so let's crack on with that. Later on in this episode I will as well be doing my top 5 worst and my top five favorite rooms that we have made in this series. So what we are going to be doing today is doing obviously our final room. I'm gonna do this one and what we're gonna do is basically make this into a tiny little house. Now I don't know how well this is gonna go because it's literally just gonna be six by six but the plan is to try and see if we can fit everything into it that you would have in a regular house to make it actually usable and obviously we're gonna try and make it look as good as possible. We are gonna obviously have to do it like slightly small as well because I can't really go ahead and make it like we're definitely gonna have to have like a single bed just because otherwise it definitely will not work but what i'm thinking is that we could split this section off so we've got a slightly raised up single bed so i'm gonna raise this up so it's on a little platform so it looks a little bit nicer and then i want to add some kind of thing into here i'm thinking i might use a fence but there is another option that i'm kind of thinking of so we're either going to go with this thing which i think this looks kind of cool in order to like sort of separate it off from the rest of it or there is something else that I think has like candles on it which looks really pretty so I'm going to see if I can find that too. The only issue is I have no idea where that thing is. I just remember it being in something previously. Ooh, this is really cool as well. I kind of like this. I don't really know what style I want to go with actually for this room. Like for this tiny little flat. But this is kind of cool to be fair. You could have this like right on this corner here and that's basically what I'm thinking is to have like something that looks a little bit nicer as our wall. I'm going to put that there for now if, and then we're going to have kind of like a little mix around and see what looks the best. We do have this thing as well which is kind of like boards or something that goes across but you can't really get it in a very nice colour which kind of sucks. We can get it in this brown which isn't too bad so I'm going to use that as well just to have a look and see which one looks best. We do have this one as well that has like a massive hole in it which I think that's kind of cool but I don't think it'll work with what I'm thinking. Or We have like literal sticks but I think we do need a little bit more privacy. There we go I found it. So this is kind of what I was thinking before. It's got all these cute little cats candles on it and I think it looks absolutely adorable. So if we've got these three which would look the best to basically just put here, along here so we can have a little bed on the other side. I think it's all dependent on what kind of style we want to go with. I think I'm gonna go with the candle one just because I do absolutely love that one. It is slightly less privacy though. So we're gonna go with just two of those right next to each other. I am also gonna have to try and work out what I'm gonna do in terms of the bathroom which I'm worried about that because I'm worried that it's not gonna to look very good. So there we go, we've got our little edge there. I think I'm going to put the bathroom over here, although I guess we can't really do that because we've got obviously our bed there, so we wouldn't be able to leave. Hmm. An alternative is that we actually only do one side of these and we can actually put the bathroom in the middle, but I feel like that's going to block off a lot of space. I think what we're going to have to do is actually put it like here. This is like the smallest house ever. Yeah, let's do it here. So this is our bathroom. I think this is like the smallest that you can really have a bathroom in still be usable or we can do it actually by four by four and we'll have to use the sink in the kitchen which I think actually we're gonna have to with this because it's so small. So now we've got this sort of basic shape down of what I'm kind of thinking. I honestly don't know where I'm gonna put everything. So we're gonna have to have basically like let's have a look. We could actually pull this out even further and then actually pull it in so it's only one wide and that might work as well. I made a caravan a little bit back and it was sort of the same kind of size and trying to get everything to work just because it was like so small. I think this works a little bit better though. We'll have to just have like a shower on one side and then a toilet on the other and we'll have to use the sink from the kitchen. And then I guess we can put a kitchen here along this wall. I think that should work. Then we can have the living space over here and we can have a little wardrobe or something on this end here. I think that kind of works. I want to try and avoid doing the like full out sofa bed just because I think that we could actually fit a bed in there and I think it'll look a little bit nicer. So let's go ahead and pick our flooring and our walls. We do obviously 
obviously need a door as well here. I was tempted to add another door here, but I think I'm going to leave that just because we definitely don't have the space for it. So I'm just going to use a nice little door there that matches this wood colour that we're picking here. Then we do have this really nice wood colour, which I think kind of matches the room a, a little bit better. Then obviously we have our little steps right at the end of the bed. Then in terms of our walls, I think I'm just going to go with a classic white as I think that design of the this kind of shade of brown and then the white just looks so good together. I might pick something a little bit different though for our bathroom just so that it does feel a little bit different. We could go with like this kind of colour. I don't actually know. I could go with blue. Blue is like a nice classic but I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I feel like this might actually look better. Yeah we'll go with like this nice little grey colour here. Then let's start with our tiny little bedroom up here before we can then go on to the rest of it. So obviously we're going to start with our bed which I'm going to go with a nice little single. Obviously otherwise we're not actually going to be able to get into the bed. I really like this one even though the colours are a little bit clashing. I think that the pattern just looks really nice and modern. And then obviously we're going to add a little side table as well. And we do need some windows as well which I've only just realised we actually haven't got any windows yet so we're definitely going to have to go in and add some windows. Then on our little side table that we've got here we can just add some little bits like tiny little plant and then I normally add like either a lamp or some books or something so I think we're going to go with hmm, let's go with some books I think that's probably the best idea then we can go ahead and add in some windows and stuff so obviously we're gonna want one probably near here I might put it on like this little gap that we've got at the end of the bed I'm trying to work out what kind of windows I want as well because we could go with like big old windows like this just to let in like a bunch of light I think that uh, that might actually be quite nice especially as we've got like quite a lot of windows on this side as well where we've got the door the problem is because are on different levels the windows would be different heights which is kind of annoying let's see what the kind of height difference is i would have to have it very tall in order to actually have that work i think that it still looks quite nice though i do plan on having the kitchen go all the way across here though so it's not really going to work on that side but we could do it on both of these edges here and then i might change the door just because it doesn't necessarily need to be that door it would be nicer if it was a little bit taller i think allowed like a lot more light in we could go with something huge like this but i feel like that is a little bit intense i kind of like the idea of just having it be like a slidey door though I th feel like that might look pretty good yeah we'll just do a little slidey door I feel like that looks all right then we could add some additional like littler windows if I can find any that have just like this one little sort of border around it I feel like you need to kind of keep all of them looking sort of similar I couldn't go in and add something like this without it looking a little bit odd something like this would kind of work if I could maybe put it like there might add some like um little curtains or something to it we'll add another one on the other side as well okay could just add add some little curtains like this so that it still looks a little bit modern. Don't know if it would be best maybe actually to put change the colour of it to something else. Orange looks pretty good. Yeah that looks pretty nice. And then we could add just a little picture behind here as well. Gonna go with something a bit more simplistic I think as well. This one's quite cute. Yeah we'll go with that one. Then we can go ahead and move on to our bit over here where I am gonna add a little wardrobe right at the end. Another option actually is that I could do just a length like a uh, one that just goes all the way across the pot. I feel like that might work a little bit better in like this slightly smaller space that we have so i'm gonna add as like something like this i feel like would work quite well yeah that should look all right if i do it say if i do it like this maybe i'm trying to think as well whether i wanted a tv at the end because we're not gonna have a tv anywhere else let's see if i can make some strange wardrobe plus tv thing if i did like i don't know how the problem is i don't know how like big the tv is gonna be so let's put the tv on first see i really like this tv i think it looks really nice and it's a little bit of storage so i don't know if i want to just use that one and then maybe just add a wardrobe here instead let's have a look let's see what what we can work with i don't know if there's any wardrobes that look a little bit nicer i really like this one but i don't think it's gonna fit okay it kind of fits it's not too bad the only issue is it doesn't really match very well actually that looks a little bit better yeah i like that actually i think it just needs some little bits like on top just to make it look a little bit more like le a little bit less cluttered or I guess more cluttered I think we need a little ceiling fan as well just over this one little area actually mm, maybe not because we've got this and this is quite big at the minute yeah I think that's fine we just need a little few little bits of here I'm thinking like some books or something if I just grab like a bunch of these then it should look pretty good just gonna like literally just raise them all up and just fill that top section I feel like that looks pretty good yeah 
there. I think that's that's all fine. And then we can move over to our next bit, which I did want to do a sofa and stuff here, but I don't know if we're going to have enough space, but we'll we'll see how it goes. I might have enough room for a little dining table in the middle as well. I think it's best to probably, let's move on to the kitchen, because I feel like that's the main bit that I'm kind of worried about, because we're going to have just a long kitchen. I am going to change this picture as well, just to this cute little candle one, because I think that looks a bit cuter. Then for our kitchen cabinets, I'm going to go with these ones so that it matches the wood that we'd already picked. I'm just going to go with a classic white fridge, I think. We could go with one that's got a bit more colour to it, but I kind of feel like the white fridge might look a little bit nicer in this sort of quite white room. Then finally, our little oven. I think that looks pretty good. I am contemplating actually putting the oven here just so that we can have an exhaust, but then you do have your oven like directly right next to where we've got the bed. So it's not like the best layout. I think that looks pretty good. Then do I want some overhead cabinets? The only issue is when you do that, it kind of brings everything in and makes it feel a little bit small. I think we're actually going to leave the overhead cabinets just because it will bring that whole room in and just make it feel really tiny. I am going to add some little bits onto our countertops though. Obviously we don't have a lot of space and I can't add anything to that countertop over there just because then we don't have anywhere to actually do our cooking. I'm also going to add this cute little pan to our stove. Obviously what I'm going to do is actually just make it a little bit smaller as well. Then we can just add it onto one of the hob tops. I'm going to put it on like that one there. I'm also going to add these herbs but I'm just going to make them slightly smaller so they don't take up as much of that wall space. Then I am tempted to add a shelf here but I don't know if it's going to take up too much room. It doesn't look too bad actually. I'm going to add two right there just so that we have more surfaces in our kitchen because I think at the minute we just do not have enough space to be able to add like all of our little bits of clutter. Then I'm just going to go in and add our kitchen clutter. So it's just going to be loads of little bits. So I'm going to just do this little like spices. I think they always look really good in there. Then I am going to add just these to our top shelf. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. I think we do need something on top of our fridge just because that is looking a little bit empty even if it's just like some oranges and then I am thinking about putting some pans on there as well or we could actually put a bigger plant on there because I don't think we've really put enough plants in this room I'm thinking this one if we make it a little bit bigger yeah I think that looks nicer then we can go over to here and we can actually work out our little sort of dining and like living space obviously this is definitely only for one person to live here because we do not have enough room otherwise for multiple people to live here and it makes more sense that I guess if you want to watch tv you'd like lay in bed for it I'm just trying to find a sofa that kind of works. I'm thinking an orange sofa would actually look quite nice because it would match the kind of crazy bed that we've got or like something like this is quite cute. I'm thinking either that one or this one but I think this one looks a little bit more modern. We could actually add another little sofa on this side for just like conversation or I guess like a little footstool or something. I feel like a footstool would probably work quite well. Maybe one that matches like this and then we can add a little side table as well. I did kind of think ahead when I was doing like the other little like room that we did outside of her so it kind of looks like you've got this gorgeous little tiny house and then it also has a pool with it. I'm gonna add a little candle as well and then maybe we'll just we could add some more books actually or I could have books and a plant. I think I've used this plant like three times already in this like whole build like in this one tiny room but I just really like that plant. There we go I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we need a rug as well just here. I want to find like a nice comfy one I think. Problem is it's so close to that other door that it doesn't really work too well. I actually kind of like the fact that it is kind of just like really squished up into that corner I feel like it weirdly works I think we're gonna go with that one just because it does kind of change the pattern and it does I feel like that's something that you would do if you really wanted like a little living space in this tiny house then add some little pictures and then what else have we got so we don't really have a massive amount of space for a dining room I do think I will add like a little like small rug just as you're entering the house I don't know if it's gonna clash with the other one is my only concern we just did like a little white one here yeah, I feel like that looks okay and then let's go ahead and do our bathroom which obviously we just have this really little minuscule bathroom and it's literally just going to consist of a toilet and obviously the like little shower area i am going to change maybe the flooring actually to just make it like white tile i feel like that looks a little bit better then obviously going with a bit more of like a modern toilet and then a more modern shower here personally really like this one in base game that has its own little like um towel on it i just think it looks really nice then i am going to add Add a little bit of decoration behind this toilet here I think we've got this one that has different bits on it yeah this one here I think this one just looks so nice above a toilet I don't know why I think it also looks really good to be fair above like a bath as well because obviously it does have this little sponge on it okay, then I think that's kind of it I don't really think there's anything else that you can really add in 
we've obviously we've got our little bed we've got our wardrobe so we can still get changed a little tv to keep us entertained we've got a little living area which is bigger than i thought it would be which is all right and then we've got obviously our tiny little kitchen over here as well so that is our final 100 rooms done i cannot believe it that we have managed to make it to 100 i was not expecting it i it has obviously been like much harder than i thought it would be as well to actually come up with 100 different rooms but there it is there is our 100 rooms i think that that looks absolutely crazy just to have like that many rooms all packed into one lot as well my computer is lagging quite a bit i am going to put this on the gallery as well so if you guys would like to download this so that you can get individual rooms and save them to your own sort of gallery so you can still use the little rooms then feel free to but just as a warning it might actually crash your computer if your computer isn't that great mine is a gaming computer and even so it is still struggling i think it is just because of the amount of shit items that are in this one lot at the same time and obviously a lot of like different platforms a lot of different walls and it's just kind of like taking its toll so now that we have finished our 100 rooms i'm gonna go over my top five f favorite rooms and my least favorite rooms if you're enjoying this video so far be sure to like share and subscribe so kicking it off with my least favorite room out of 100 rooms that I've built is this little trophy room. Now I'm not too sure what I dislike about this. I think it just feels like it's kind of like minimal effort kind of room. I guess if you had a huge house and you were just looking for something else to have in the room that like it's just to fill out spaces then it's not too bad. But to be honest like it's just not that exciting. I'm not a huge fan of the wallpaper used. I feel like having the trophies directly over the door is just very odd. The actual like bits inside aren't don't really make sense as trophies a lot of them are just random knickknacks so I was just that is my least favorite I don't think I'll ever be including something like that in a future build unless I like really went home on maybe like the collector side of things then maybe it would be a bit better but honestly the style just isn't it my second least favorite room is this little music room that we've made here I think it's just a little bit odd because it's kind of a mix of a few different colors like there's like blue legs on this chess like set here it's just very odd it has like these really old timey and expensive pictures which just don't really vibe with the weird like this is almost like 19th aesthetic like keyboard so it's just like a lot of it just doesn't mash these like little pillars just i think we're an attempt to try and make it look a little bit better i'm honestly just not a fan of this room also this like art deco rug it's just a mishmash of different eras and i think that's just why i'm just not a fan of it Saying that though, I do think that there is ways that you can make a music room like this that would look nicer, but this one just ain't it. Then my third least favorite room is definitely this one. I think it's just because of the like weird brick that we've got behind it. It doesn't match with the brick of the fireplace. It's a bit of like a strange one because we've obviously got this slightly more modern sofa but then we also have this like other like this little chair but then we've also got this like really just cheap sofa and honestly the pictures on the back wall do, do not do it justice where I was hoping it would kind of look cluttered and cute it just looks very odd this room kind of feels like if you lived there you had like a bunch of excess stuff and you're kind of just using this room as storage but also trying to make it feel like a living space I think it's too small it's too cluttered and everything goes too high up the walls as well so it just kind of feels like it's overbearing on such a small room it's not just the three by three rooms that i kind of dislike we're moving on to our fourth one where we have this six by six pit now i think this is a really cool concept i just don't think the execution was there i was not able to kind of make it look as nice as i kind of pictured it in my head i don't know if it's maybe because it's got carpet on the inside whether it's because the stairs kind of go through the sofa or maybe it's literally just that I don't like the outside as well this huge picture that is clearly too big for this one wall where it was like sized up the symmetry between these two cabinets and like the fact that there's really not that much else going on around the room maybe if this was in some sort of disco kind of like vibe of a club then it might look a little bit better but honestly it's just not that great in this room where it kind of looks like it's meant to be like a living space or somewhere where you would take your guests i just don't think it looks that great i think that it could be done properly in terms of the pit if it was in a different area but definitely not in this one and then finally we have my fifth least favorite room which is this one and this is i think was a beach themed kids room and it's kind of cool like maybe if you had a kid who really was obsessed with like the ocean i like the fact it's got like the little wheel 
hill and stuff and it is cool obviously the view but honestly i think the colors are really clashing like i hate this wallpaper obviously it fits with the room style but we've got like freaking i don't even know like five different shades of blue in this one room i just don't think it's well made we've got like this is like a more teal color we've got obviously this quite nice blue on the wall here somewhat matches with this wallpaper but then you've got a different blue on the bed you've got a different darker blue over here this is a like more desaturated blue it just does not match and then obviously like we've got this little tent which is kind of cute with the little boats above it but honestly i just think this room is like kind of boring it sort of just looks like it's just got a bunch of random items that are trying to work together i just don't think that there's enough in like the packs that i have or enough in the base game to actually make a beach themed kids room look correct i think that you could probably do it if you had some mods and stuff there's definitely some mods out there that would make this look super cute as a theme but it just didn't work here now we are going to have a look at my top five rooms that i've made in these 100 room builds ones that i am definitely going to include in like pre-made houses in the future ones that i'm going to save to my gallery um i might also save them separately to the gallery but i'm not too sure yet just because some of them do involve platforms so it's going to be a little bit difficult to do that but obviously you guys can download them anyway but these are my top five that i've made that i'm definitely going to use in the future we're going to work our way backwards this time so unlike the last one where i started off with my least favorite of the entire 100 rooms we're actually going to start with my fifth favorite i'm going to go all the way up to my absolute favorite room that i've made so i'm going to kick it off with this adorable little pastel pop kind of like little office space i think that it looks super cute it's got just the right amount of clutter i really like the varying colors of the carpet as well i just think that makes it look like look and feel like super unique i really like the sort of different items that work together like this cute little clock the little like officey um like schedule planner thing that it's got on the wall as well these cute little like pictures it really feels like someone's like used this room a lot they use it a lot for like creativity and just really enjoy all of the really bright colors that the room has obviously we do have like the little easel as well and the little guitar that's obviously also shaped to like a cute little animal so it all just kind of fits really well together i just think it looks absolutely adorable and i'll definitely be using that in maybe like a either a really creative sims like house or i would use it in maybe like a teenager room as well i just think it looks super cute then my fourth favorite is definitely this modern bathroom that i made here i think that it just looks super nice it's got again the right kind of clutter it's not too filled out for a six by six room we still have quite a lot going on we obviously have a cute little section over here that's all dedicated to our bathroom although i did just notice that for some reason one of these wall tiles is incorrectly placed so i'm just gonna fix that real quick there you go so i just really like the fact that it's got this big old window here just to let in a little bit of natural light obviously it's not letting in a massive amount considering that that other room is inside but i just really like the fact that it's got this whole like massive section that you can wash up in and have like two separate little sinks i think the rug matches perfectly with these wallpapers and my favorite part is just this little bath over here where you've literally got this own feeling of like your own little spa where it's got all the rocks across the walls we've got two little like dressing gowns that obviously you can then like just enjoy it with someone else it's got the little bit above here that's got the tiny plant and the little cups and things on it i just think that it looks absolutely adorable but it's also just like so relaxing of a room and it's really modern so it would work in a lot of modern builds as well definitely one of my favorites that i've made the next one that we're going to have a look at is this yellow and blue sort of moderny almost art deco-y kind of living space and i just absolutely love it and i don't even know why some of it i feel like doesn't even go well together i feel like it's such a mesh of patterns i feel like it's very maximalist at the same time and i just think it's this little like bookcase here that's just got all of these different patterns clashing with the different patterned rug this like picture on the wall that also has like sort of painter style to it and then obviously we've got the more modern like strips all across the wall here next to the tv it's got obviously quite an expensive looking living room as well because we also have a little fireplace we've got a marble countertop underneath the tv i just think it all goes like just really well together even though it's got all of these clashing patterns it's just that perfect like example of like how maximalist design can be incorporated into a living space moving on to my second favorite i am gonna have to say that my second favorite is probably the one that i made today we have this gorgeous little like a modern 
house almost but it's sort of like a flat i really do like the fact that we have these sort of matching colors so we've got the oranges but we do have some splashes of some blues we've got some yellows obviously we've got this cute little kitchen here we've got tiny little bathroom it all fits in so well i think that this would be such a good little house flat thing to be able to use if you wanted like maybe a quick starter i feel like it probably isn't that expensive to actually use in your game so if you wanted something where you were trying to do like a budget challenge or something like that it would probably be quite a good one to aim for because obviously you would end up still having everything this same style as well if you wanted to swap out all of the furniture you could easily put in some cheaper furniture you could definitely put a much cheaper tv there or no tv at all and it would still work you could have much cheaper countertops and things on here i just think that the layout is really smooth i like the fact that you can see the bed every and everything from like the living space it just feels like one of those like really nice like almost studio apartments but i just absolutely love the design i really like the clean look of it and i just think it looks really nice and then finally we have my favorite room that i think i've built out of the 100 that we have built absolutely definitely one of my favorites it is so nice and I, I don't even know why it's just this beach themed bathroom now i think sometimes beach themed bathrooms can be a little bit cliche obviously and they don't always work super great i think that this one just looks so nice because you have this very large shower that's just right like almost like the center point of the room but you still have quite a lot of privacy because we've got this whole wall going across here same with the bath we've obviously got this really nice little bath it's got some towels next to it a little counter so you can put your books in make it feel a lot nicer but then we do obviously because we did this one mini challenge in the middle of the hundred where we had to make rooms coming off of this one like aquarium you do obviously also have this really cool aquarium that while you're using these like his and hers sinks you can look at the aquarium we've got mirrors on both sides it's not like too symmetrical as well we obviously do have some symmetry going down the room but i just really like the fact that we've got to, like a bunch of perfumes and things on this side a little plant on that one both people have bins there's just the right amount of clutter again the color palettes work so well together because all of the colors are just perfect basically for it we've got the same woods here that we have on the door perfect colored like little picture which i think goes really well with this room we've also got this thing that i made over here which i'm really proud of which is just basically my own design of a like cabinet for the room where we could still have a lot of space and surfaces to be able to put some products that you would have in your bathroom i just think that this room is like the epitome of absolutely perfect and i think if i had like a beach themed house or if it was on the seaside or anything like that i think it would be an absolutely perfect room i love the light as well that comes in you just get the perfect amount of natural light but still plenty of privacy because we do have these curtains here as well i cannot believe that we've actually finished 100 rooms this is absolutely crazy but of course a massive thank you to my first 100 subscribers we are obviously a lot more more than that now so thank you all so much for enjoying my content in the meantime while i've been doing this challenge to celebrate as this series comes to an end i do obviously take all suggestions into account so if anyone has any ideas of what they would like to watch in the future please let me know in the comments below this challenge has been super fun to do for you all i have uploaded this onto the gallery under hextra hunt so please do download it if you would like any of these rooms thank you all again so much for subscribing it means so much to me and of course if you missed any of the episodes on the screen now is the series link as well as a recommended video so you can check that one out too and i hope you all have a great rest of your evening